all right folks um welcome to the channel i just wanted to get up here for a hot second to you know talk about the jamie fox situation and i know a lot of you guys have been hearing about this tragic tragic news that this man this man has been in the hospital for the last four weeks when i heard about this you know four weeks ago i thought you know just a little, you know, hiccup, and he was going to be out of the hospital by no time. But since then, we've been getting inundated with all of this news of this could be, you know, very, very, very serious for the great Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx is an American singer an Oscar winning actor and one of the funniest comedians to ever touch that mic. Um, his family is now saying that they are preparing for the worst. My mother, rest in peace. My mother always said um, to us, her boys, she always said, um, you know, I, 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 I just hope for the worst. So when it does come out great, um, I'm not, you know, caught off guard. You know what I mean? And I, 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 I tend to look at things like that as well. I tend to prepare for the worst. Um, but you can't prepare for things like this. You can never prepare for the inevitable that's going to happen to us all you can never prepare for it i remember my mother being in hospice you know we were preparing for her demise we were preparing for her not to be on this earth anymore in 2016 you know her cancer came back in 2016 august and she was gone on january the 7th 2017 and before her cancer came back, she was walking in New York. We were all walking. She was feeling great. She, 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 she got diagnosed with cancer in 2014, um, along with her brother, my uncle, who passed away in 2014, along with my grandmother, who passed away in 2014. You see, so I got this, you know, cluster of people that passed away in my family, the, the, the biggest pillars in my life, my grandmother, my uncle, and my mother, you know, um, within a three year span, but you, you don't prepare for that. You're not prepared for that. So with Jamie Foxx, man, um, you know, he has a lot of fans. He has a lot of people who depend on him. He has a lot, he has a daughter, uh, uh, a beautiful daughter, you know, who, you know, you seen this man and we talk about that on my channel all the time about fathers being in their children's lives. That man was in his child's life. You know, that man lived for his little girl, you see, and we seen that. Um, it's a lot of women out here that try to take that away from men. And I'm glad that Jamie Foxx can navigate through that. You know, I, I talk about this single motherhood on my channel a lot. I talk about the importance of fathers and I just want that little girl to continue to have her father. You see, I just want that little girl to continue to have her father, Jamie Foxx, one of the greatest entertainers ever. You know he, what they said? He's only 55, man. Come on, come on, man. You know, our brothers are out there dying at 50, 55 years old. Look, man, that's 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 middle age, man. You got at least 30 more good years. DMX dying at 50. Michael Jackson dying at 50. All of these people dying at 50. And I'm sure you guys can go down in the comment section and name some more. I don't know what is the issue with Jamie Foxx and it's not our business for real for real um it is our business to know that he is in a condition you know in some type of state you know because he is 
unfortunately he is a celebrity you know and we are the public um ti had a song a long time ago he said my life is your entertainment um when you sign up to be a celebrity you sign up for scrutiny you sign up for criticism and you sign up for your fans to know what's going on with you and um a couple of days ago he I, we don't know if it was him or not but he put out um he put out a message or his team put out a message saying that you know he, he thank you guys for all of you know what you're giving him and I, I i just i just really i just really hope and pray and 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 send positive vibes jamie fox's way um I'm, I'm going to end with this. The funniest, the funniest thing I ever seen to this day, other than Martin, the show Martin, that's excluded. Okay. And Dave Chappelle's show. That's, that's excluded. Outside of those two entities, the number one thing that was just so funny to me was the roast of Doug Williams by Jamie Foxx. This is your conscience and that that nothing compared to that since i've been watching this thing i think for 20 years now and you guys know exactly what i'm talking about um doug williams got flamed <laughs> by jamie fox at the emmett smith roast and no one remembers no jokes for emmett as he said to Doug, do you have any jokes for Emmett tonight? <laughs> I mean, it's the funniest thing ever, you know. Um, and that's what I want to, you know, prop up, man. This man's talent to just, you know, make something out of nothing at a drop of a dime. I don't even think that was planned. And, you know, the way he did it, I'm sure Doug... <laughs> Doug probably don't like this man, but I'm sure Doug is rooting for him to get better as well. Um, to all of my audience, please make sure that y'all, you know, push out those positive vibes. Um, if you're religious, please pray for Jamie Foxx. We do not need to lose another good brother. I'm out. Y'all always stay unplugged from false narratives. Peace, and y'all be safe.